everybody. So I recently did a purchase from e.l.f. Cosmetics and I thought I would do a little bit of a haul. It just came in. It came in a bag like this. Some of the stuff I've already ripped into. I got it yesterday. So I tried out a couple of the products and some of the things I have yet to try. But I just wanted to share with you guys. If you're not familiar with e.l.f., um, it's basically like a really inexpensive makeup line. And some things in my experience are in my experience anyways, are hits and some of them are misses, but it's just kind of fun every once in a while to try out some of their products and some of their newer products to see if it's really worth the money. A lot of these products are only a dollar or two dollars each, so I got a big bag of stuff that I think I paid around twenty dollars and I got free shipping. They always has coupon codes and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna share with you what I got. So the first item here is actually the reason I placed the order. This is the waterproof eyeliner pen, and I used to use this a lot a while back, a couple years ago, and I rediscovered it again and realized how much I love it. I think it's two dollars, maybe a dollar. It's just really good value, and it works really well. Um, this one is in black. I actually have one open currently. Maybe I'll show you it. It's what I have on my eyes right now. If I can find it, it is. So it's just a felt tip eyeliner pen. It's got a nice fine tip to it. It's really, really black. It stays on for a long time. So I just like it. They don't last forever, hence only a couple dollars, but um, I think it's really good value. So I picked up a backup of that. And then I picked up another one. This one's white and it's in the color plum. So I sometimes like to experiment with different color eyeliners. I should have opened it. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Here we go, and purple looks really good with green eyes, which I had, so I thought I'd pick it up. Let's swatch it for you. Whoa, that's almost a black. It is so pigmented. That's even more pigmented than my black one. Maybe it's because it's brand new, but uh, that is a very, very deep plum color. Probably just looks black to you guys, but up close I can see the little bit of purple in it, so. That is the next product I got. I'm now reaching into my bag. This is a no order, I'm just kind of pulling it out. This is called the Daily Moisture Stick. Nourishes, hydrates skin for a softer, smoother, more revitalized look. That's what it comes with. The reason I picked this up is because I watch Emily Noel. I think there's a couple numbers after her name. I'll leave her link down below. She does the most awesome reviews on every makeup product you can possibly think of, so I really trust her opinion. Um, and she loves it. She says the ingredients are really good pop it open for you. I haven't used it yet, but I have stuck my finger in it. Basically, it's a big clear stick and you can just put your finger on it and then rub it in any areas that are getting dry. If your makeup's getting a little bit cakey, you can kind of just pat it on and it will renew your skin, hydrate your skin. So I thought that was really good. I'm getting a lot of dry patches recently, so I wanted to try it out. I'll let you know what I think of these. If you want a specific review on any of these products that I'm talking about, definitely let me know. But yeah, I'm gonna move on to the next product. This is the e.l.f. Jumbo Eyeshadow Stick, and the color I got is French Lace. If you watch my channel, you know I love these jumbo eyeshadow sticks. I'm in love with them. And I always seem to get the neutral, like, champagne colors. I have enough of these, but I wanted to check out what e.l.f. had to offer, so I will swatch it for you. So it's like a champagne color. There it is right there. Um, really pretty color. However, I experimented it with it today. I have it on as a base underneath my current eyeshadow. I'll zoom in so you can see. All the eyeshadows I'm wearing are matte. However, this has like big chunks of glitter in it and as I was putting the matte eyeshadows on it, glitter was falling on my face, glitter was getting way up to my eyebrow. So I'm not a big fan of like the chunky falling down glitter. I don't mind if it's a, if it's supposed to be a glittery eyeshadow stick as long as the glitter stays where you put it on your face. So, I don't know, I'll keep trying it, but so far not too impressed with that. The next product I am really impressed with, this I got on recommendation from Shan Exo. I'll leave her link down below. Again, she's from New Zealand, I believe, and she does awesome, awesome videos. I love watching her, and she really loved this, so I thought I would pick it up. Um, it's the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. Um, and it just looks like a white powder. When you tap it into the lid, it's got like a little bit of, not sparkle, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but it's got a little bit of sheen to it or something. A little bit something extra to it. Um, and it just, I put it on on top of my under eye concealer and just helps to set it. I've used it two times now. I haven't noticed any extra creasing. It's just, it's kind of like brightening at the same time. I always like using a more translucent or lighter powder on my under eyes than the rest of my face. So yeah, I've really been liking this. I think it was $3. So, so far happy with that. I'll let you know if that changes. 
All right, the next product, I actually picked up two by accident. I don't know how two ended up in my cart, but I looked at my sheet and indeed I had hit quantity two. So I think I'm gonna do a giveaway of the second one. Um, Where's the first one? This is a blush and I really like the e.l.f. blushes. This is the studio line and this one's in pink passion. So here's the one I haven't opened yet. Here's the one I have opened. Excuse my nail polish. Um, and that's what it looks like. It's a matte blush and it's a cool tone hot pink color. And these are so pigmented. You have to be really careful. There it is there. Just watch it for you. There it is there on my hand. So it's a really pretty color. Again, it's a matte blush that I love. I have it on right now very lightly towards the backs of my cheeks. I think it's gonna be really pretty come spring and summer. And there's no way I'm ever gonna go through the whole blush, like at least for a long, long time. So I definitely wanna give this away. So if you'd like to enter this giveaway, all I'm gonna ask you to do is leave a comment down below letting me know what are your favorite videos from me that you like to watch on this beauty channel. So just let me know what your favorite videos that I do are and you'll be entered to win. It's open internationally, so I'll just ship it to you. I'll leave it open for a week, I guess. So yeah, if you wanna win the blush, then if you wanna win the blush, then leave a comment down below. All right, the I have two products left. One of them I've been really liking so far, I've tried both. And the second one, mm, I don't think I do. Let's, let's leave this the best for last. So the one I'm not sure that I like so much, I've only used once, so I can't really give it my true judgment, but I wore it yesterday and I went to work for eight hours and it did not hold up well. It's the F Elf HD Lifting Concealer. That's what it looks like. I used it underneath my eyes. Uh, it's more of a yellow tone concealer. I'll show you it. Whoop, right there. So I don't know if you can pick up the yellow tones to it. But I didn't mind because it helped correct. When I first put it on, it was really, really creamy. It felt hydrating. It blended out really well. Um, it had pretty good coverage. And it didn't seem to seep into my under eye um, little wrinkles too much. So I was really happy when I first tried it on. I went to work and a couple hours in, I went to the bathroom and took a look at it. And it's not that it sunk into those lines, which is usually my problem. It's that it was breaking down. Like, you know, when you get sweaty or something in a foundation or just over time, it starts to like get patchy I guess that's what was happening it wasn't as full coverage anymore and it was breaking down in a really weird way and by the end of the night it just it didn't look good so I'm gonna try it again maybe I'll try it with different primers underneath um, different powders on top but the verdict is not good on that so far but the one that I do really love is an eyebrow product this is the elf eyebrow kit that's what it looks like this is the color ash and basically it has a wax on one side and a powder on the other side and I'm wearing it right now and it's a perfect match for my hair color. Um, it matches my eyebrows absolutely perfectly. I wasn't sure how I'd like the whole wax powder thing but I wanted to give it a go. I think this is $3, maybe $2 and I really actually like it. This wax is not, it's almost like a cream. It's not hard or chunky in any means. Like I just use an angled brush and it just glides right through my eyebrows pulls all the hairs in with it so you don't need a brow gel on top but tints everything and then I use the powder on top just if there's any sparse areas so I've been really happy with this I think this might be a new favorite I've only used it twice but we will see so yeah that is it for my elf haul let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to enter the giveaway and thank you so much for watching bye